In this video, I'm going to show the difference between writing pixels directly to this particular LCD display and writing pixels to a buffer on the microcontroller and then sending the buffer to the LCD display. So if I uh, press this particular icon, that's the kind of update rate I get writing pixels directly to the LCD display. Uh, whereas if I press that icon, that's uh, writing pixels to the local buffer on the microcontroller and then sending the buffer to the LCD display. So I'll just go show that again. So this is uh, writing pixels directly to the display. And then go using the buffer locally. So to explain why I get a remarkable increase in performance after adding an additional step, um, rather than adding a different step decrease in performance, uh, on the display on the right here, you can see I've got the ESP32 microcontroller here, uh, and the LCD um, module up here, and when I use single buffering, so basically sending pixel instructions to the LCD buffer, so I'm sending thousands of these instructions. So for, a, for to display a button on the display, it might be a couple of thousand pixels I need to actually send to the, the display. Uh, and each pixel has to be sent as an SPI command, individual SPI command. So it's a, it's a lot of work uh, to do over the SPI bus. Uh, but if instead you set up uh, an area of memory in your microcontroller, uh, uh, as a bitmap, uh, basically these LCD displays, what, what you do is when you write to them, you just you define a, a, a rectangle on the display you want to write to, and then when you send data to it, you fill up that rectangle line by line. So it's, it's basically the same format as a, a, a bitmap you might save in uh, an image editor. So in the image editor I use, when you save a bitmap as a 16-bit bitmap, uh, the format is basically the same as what you would send display on the screen. So you can pretty much send that directly to this, these LCD displays after you've defined your rectangle you want to display your bitmap in. Uh, so this actually is a lot quicker. So within the ESP32 itself, to write pixels to this area of memory, which is within the ESP32 itself, is very fast. Uh, so it's not like writing pixels over an SPI bus. Uh, so you get a big speed improvement there, but you still get get the the pixels up uh, up to the LCD display. So and it's still the same number of pixels, uh, but because the SPI bus in the ASP32 uses the DMA direct memory interface uh, DMA, uh, it can actually do it a, a lot quicker. So because it's just writing a stream of data across the SPI bus, there's no need to send. Um, command information, the, you just send in the 16-bit pixels one after another and filling up this area on in the display where you want to actually display the graphics. And that's a lot quicker um, to do. So it, it doesn't actually burden the ESP32 itself either uh, when it's sending these commands because of the direct memory adapter. Uh, it goes directly to the RAM, doesn't bother the CPU, uh, and just bl blasts the pixels to the display and you get a huge performance increase. 